Did you know, despite its futuristic setting, Planet S draws upon and pays homage to several famous astronomers and rocket scientists, ranging from the contemporary to the ancient. The title of the series itself, often written in ancient Greek characters, translates to wanderers and is the root of the English word planets. The ancient Greeks first differentiated planets from stars because unlike stars which remained fixed in the sky relative to each other, the planets would move or wander across the sky over time. The premise of the series, the removal and or salvage of dangerous orbital debris, is based on a very real concern of today's space agencies called the Kessler Syndrome, which was proposed by NASA Orbital Debris Section Leader Donald Kessler in 1978. The series' opening montage contains many recreations of famous real-life rocket scientists and space science pioneers such as Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, one of the founding fathers of rocketry, and Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon. Another famed NASA figure, Werner von Braun, lends his name to the new fusion-powered vessel destined for Jupiter in the series' latter half, the von Braun. The German rocket scientist who designed the infamous V-2 rocket for the Nazis, von Braun later became the lead designer of the American Saturn V rocket which was used to land men on the moon. Planet S was not Von Braun's first appearance in an animated production, however. Starring alongside several prominent rocket scientists, astronomers, and even Walt Disney himself, Von Braun pitched the idea of human exploration of space to a curious Cold War public in a series of shorts directed by the legendary animator Ward Kimball. The shorts were extremely popular both in the West and in Japan, where they inspired several early anime creators, including Osamu Tezuka, whose sci-fi series Astro Boy, Mighty Atom in Japan, inspired thousands more creators. One of those creators was Goro Tanaguchi, director of such series as Scryde, Gunsword, Code Geass, and you guessed it, Planetess. A lot of behind-the-scenes effort and research was done to ensure the scientific accuracy of the series. The series director, Goro Tanaguchi, stated in the DVD commentary that he had to learn a great deal about orbital mechanics while making the series. Several of the series' visual gimmicks reflect this knowledge, such as the display of an object's specific orbital energy which is used to calculate the nature of an object's orbit through real-life mathematical equations. Taniguchi had considerable help from JAXA, the Japanese space agency, which served as a technical consultant on the production of the series. In addition to emitting sound from the space scenes, the series' animation cell count was significantly increased for all weightless sequences in order to better portray the way real-life people and objects move in Zero-G. The author of the manga, Makoto Yukimura, came up with the idea of Planet S after reading a book about the problem of space debris. Several members of the production staff of Planet S also worked on the series Twin Spica, which aired at the same time, and they included several crossover easter eggs in the background. Some include, the hotel on the ISPV-7 space station is called the Hotel Spica. Episode 20 of Planet S features an isolation test which mirrored the isolation test element of the National Space Academy entrance exam in Twin Spica. Inflatable spherical escape pods or rescue balls are featured in both series at some point. Speaking of those rescue balls, they are in fact inspired by a real concept by NASA called the Personal Rescue Enclosure. Several other real-life references are made throughout the series. The Clementine orbit referred to the NASA space probe Clementine, which in 1994 discovered the possible presence of ice in the lunar poles. Its orbit had a perilune of 400 kilometers. The base in Episode 7 is named Mare Tranquillitatis, which is Latin for the Sea of Tranquility, referencing the actual Sea of Tranquility on the moon where Apollo 11 landed. Episode 7 also features a reference to Apollo 14's Captain Alan Shepard, who in 1971, with a makeshift six iron, teed off on the surface of the moon. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you also check out didyouknowanime.net where we post anime-related trivia. And if you want to find out more about space games and real-world spaceships, check out my channel. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.